How to install shaders on Minecraft PC is the topic of today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button right now and go leave a like while you're at it. Now, as you can see, I'll be showing you exactly how to get these shaders. It's a super simple process and you can absolutely transform your Minecraft experience. And this is a really simple guide with the help of this video. So make sure you watch the whole video as well because otherwise you're gonna miss key steps which you're gonna need to know for this tutorial to fully work. And without any further ado, let's go and jump straight into this video. So I'm now on my desktop and let's jump straight into this tutorial. So basically to get shaders, we need another program called Optifine which also speeds up Minecraft, but within that you can install shaders using this program called Optifine. I'll be showing you how to install that, but first we need to go and identify which version of Optifine we would like. To do that, we need to come down here and simply open up Minecraft, so I'll type it in. Well, now we've got the Minecraft launcher open, essentially before going and downloading Optifine, you need to make sure you've got that version of Optifine for Minecraft you would like. So I would like to have Optifine for 1.16.5, as you can see I've already got it, but I'll be showing you again. So in order to do that, if you want Optifine for 1.16.5, you need to have made sure you've run the latest version of Minecraft, which is 1.16.5. Basically, you need to have played the game version of what Optifine version you would like. So I've got that selected, so I'm gonna click play. And usually this is gonna go and do a whole download process if you haven't played that version of Minecraft before. And once you've opened it up, you can now click off it. You've ran it through and it means you've got that latest version of Minecraft. So I can get the latest version of Optifine. So then you wanna go and open up Chrome or just another browser and then search for Optifine, just like so. And then come to optifine.net. And now we're on the Optifine website. Now, as you can see at the top bar, you want to navigate to downloads. And then at the top, it's going to show you the latest version. As you can see, 1.16.5. You could go and download an old version if you'd like, but I tend to recommend doing the latest version of Minecraft. So you can click download here. And basically clicking this download here supports Optifine, the creators of this, um, by watching five seconds of ads, or you can click mirror, which directly downloads it. But I'm going to go and support them. So I've turned my ad block off. I can hit download. And I'm just going to have to quickly watch this ad. And it's now finished. So I can go and click skip. And now it's going to take me to the download page and there may be some other ads. But anyway, go and click download and it's going to start a download down here. You may get taken to another page as well on, op on the Softdefine page. But anyways, you're going to get this message uh, just because it's a Java file. But simply click, click keep, it'll be fine. And that's downloaded there. Now, if you can't open this up, it's because you need a program called Java. Um, so simply just Google Java. Java just like so and uh, then it's going to have java.com Java Oracle and you can simply download this and you should be able to open this up fine and uh, yeah you can go and continue with the tutorial so let's go and open up Optifine and go and install this um, so I'm going to go and hit click install as you can see make sure I identify where your Minecraft is and um, that's where mine is so I'll go and click install and then hopefully it's going to go and do this. As you can see, Optifine is successfully installed. So let's go and open up Minecraft and I'm going to show you the changes which has been made. So then once you've opened up the Minecraft launcher, mine is this one here, 1.16.5, and you can see the version of Optifine. Now, whenever Minecraft um, updates, you're going to have to go and update the Optifine as well, but it's obviously a really small process like I just showed you. Then I'm going to go and click play and that's going to start up and I'll quickly run through the key settings you're going to want to know and uh, yeah, then we can continue. So let's go and jump into a game. So single player, I'll just go into a random creative game and hopefully it loads and then I'll be showing you a few of the settings you can get up the fine and then the next step for going and installing shaders. So let's just jump down right here and uh, this is the game. So the main thing with up the fine is you can zoom in as well, which is useful. So you can go and zoom in. Uh, it's useful in games. So let's go and click S, and then go to Options, Video Settings, and there's so many awesome things. Now here are shaders, I'll be showing you that in just a minute, but we've got details, animations, and all of this is fully customizable, and it's really useful. You can optimize your game really well with it as well. But let's go and check out this shaders folder. So click in here, and as you can see currently, there are no shaders options, um, which obviously we're gonna get. So to do that, we need to go and go and find some shaders. So I'm gonna click off Minecraft and just exit out. And then I'll be showing you a really good shaders pack with loads of different options which run really well. So once you're on Google, then what you want to do is simply search for this. It's called Silders Shaders. Now, as you can see, here we go. Now there are loads of different versions of shaders, but personally, I've always used these and there have different options as well, depending on the your type of PC and the spec. So come to silders-shaders.github.io. Now, as you can see, it gives you a quick run through. So I basically have explained this so far. 
So you need to download and run Optifine and install the profile, run the game, and then we can go and check this out. So then we need to go and download the shader pack. So we're going down here. Now, as you can see, this is the most latest update. So I think the date is today. So this is updated today, but it'll be consistently being updated. Now, light is going to be if you have more of a, uh, I guess, a very low powered PC. And then you've got extreme, which I probably wouldn't even recommend. I personally use medium or high. Now, there's not a major difference between them all, to be honest. Um, but, you know, if you've got the spec, I guess you could go through it. But I'm going to go for medium in this tutorial. So I'm going to go and click downloads. And as you can see, it's just another ad. Um, we have to wait five seconds. Once again, it just supports the creators. And we'll wait this five, few, five seconds, and we can go hit click skip. And then we're here. We're now on a media fire site. Now we can go and download it here. It's a very small file, actually. And it should hopefully drop down here in a minute. Boom, there we go. So then we've gone and got this file. Now I'm going to hide this here. Well, hide this here. Quit off here. Keep the media file open and just drag this across here. So now I'm going to go and open up Minecraft. So let's go and open Minecraft again. Minecraft launcher. And now we're here. So then make sure you've got the Optifine profile selected. Click play. And it's going to open up the game. And then we're going to go and open up the shaders folder and then go and open up the drag the shaders in. And then we can go and test them out. I'll be showing you exactly all of those steps. So just wait a minute. And here we go. So I'm going to go and click options here and then video settings shaders just here and then you want to go and click shaders folder and then it's going to open up this folder here. I'll just make it a bit smaller so I can squeeze it all in. Now, as you can see, we've got the Silders vibrant shaders here. So I'm going to drag it in just like so. You can open this up using a program called Wimra, um, but you keep it in the zip form, I'm pretty sure. I'll quit off this and then so then quit off that. And as you can see, Silda's Vibrant Shaders is now there. So I'm going to click once on it and now it's reloading Minecraft. And then we'll go and look at this out. And now it's reloading Minecraft and we'll go and check it out. So click done. And then I'm going to just full screen this and then we can go and test this out. And it absolutely looks amazing as well. Um, as you've probably seen in the intro to this video, click done single player creative and you can change in between um, shaders and normal minecraft within the game but i sometimes find it crashes doing that so for me it just works way better doing it within uh, the options on the menu so as you can see it's going to take a minute to load in and you may get a little bit of lag when you first use it um, just as it loads in the chunks but as you can see this looks amazing and it adds a whole new sort of dimension to minecraft in my opinion like it just changes the whole game look and it can make it a lot more fun. Um, as you can see, like the water, it just it looks so different, right? And you can just, there's so much more you can do with it, especially if you're into sort of creating stuff um, and you get a shadow of your character. And yeah, there's so much to it. And the grass looks way more 3D. And obviously, if you have the lowest spec version, it will look similar. It may look a bit different, as well as if you have the high spec version, it's going to look a bit different. But you get the rough idea. So if you did find this video useful, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. And go and leave a like as well. And look forward to catch you in the next video have an awesome day peace